Hey guys, Mark here, and in today's video we're going to go over MailChimp basics for beginners. This is the perfect video if you've never used MailChimp before, or if you're struggling to figure out how to create a good campaign. We're going to go over how to create custom lists, and then we're going to go over how to create a custom campaign with custom images, video integration, and linking directly to your website. So you can sell products, or you can get more traffic through your mail campaigns. This is a perfect video for beginners. If you're a more advanced MailChimp user, this is probably not the video for you. But again, if you're a beginner just starting out with MailChimp or looking into email marketing, I hope this video is helpful. So let's dive right in. All right, guys, so we are here in MailChimp. And for this test video, we're going to be using a MailChimp account that I recently created from my wife's personal training and online coaching fitness business. So right here, we can see that this is our dashboard. This is the first page we're gonna be taken to when we log into MailChimp. And this has some information about our audience and some analytics and campaign engagement, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. I'm gonna have a whole separate video on analytics and how to look at those and how to use those to optimize your campaigns. But for now, we're just gonna go over how to create lists and then how to create campaigns using those lists. So the first thing we wanna do is go to lists. This is where all our contacts are going to be stored. These are a variety of different lists we have for different campaigns or different uses that we're going to use. So this is for a holiday event that we have coming up that we're going to start marketing for in a couple months. This is for our email pop-up on our website where it pops up and says, hey, subscribe to our newsletter. We just started doing this. And when people sign up, their emails and contact info get stored right in this list. And this final list is just for miscellaneous emails from clients or from people who have downloaded content or ebooks from our website. So right now we want to go and make a new list. So we're just going to click this gray button right here that says create list. And MailChimp is going to ask us if we want to use their new tags feature or if we want to just create a list. And we're just going to do create list. So it's going to ask us for some list details. First thing we need to do is name the list. Now keep in mind, only you will see this. So let's just do list test. All right, so we've named our list. You're the only one who's going to see that, so the name doesn't really matter that much. But I do recommend, if you're using it for something like getting people to subscribe to your newsletter, just name the test list or name your list newsletter. Now, here we have to put our default from email address. So when we send out campaigns to this list, this is the email address they're going to come from. So you can do your personal email address, or if you have a business email address, so I'm just going to do hello at caracludier.com because that's one of our business email addresses that we use to send out things like email campaigns. So default from name. This is going to be the name that the people see in their inbox from who the email is from. So you can do your personal name or you can do your business. I'm going to do Caracludier Fit since that is the business that we're going to be sending these emails from. So right here, it's going to ask you to remind people how they signed up to your list. At the bottom of your email campaigns, there's going to be a few different options. People can either unsubscribe or they can click a button that says, why am I getting this? That's just to remind people that they're getting it because they opted into your email marketing or they opted in by giving you their email address whether signing up to your newsletter or buying one of your products just so they know you're not spamming them or didn't steal their information somewhere. So if we click this box to give us an example it says you're receiving this email because you opted in at our website. So what we're gonna do is just go over here and get this text and we're just gonna paste that right in that says you're receiving this email because you opted in on our website caracludier.com. Here it has your contact information. This is where you can put your business address or your P.O. box. And from here we have form settings. We're not going to worry about this stuff right here. We'll get into that in a video down the road. And then right here we have notifications. These are notifications that are sent to you based on the interactions or engagement with your email campaign. You can have daily summaries or summaries of what any time someone clicks on something or subscribes, you get an individual notification. These are all sent by email. I don't recommend checking these because you're just gonna get a lot of emails coming in that are just telling you people looked at your content when a much easier way to do it is you can actually just go into MailChimp and click on that campaign and you can see the analytics there and that way you're not having emails coming in that you're just gonna have to delete. So since we're done here, we're going to just click save and we've got our list. So now when we go back to our lists, you can see we have the three original lists and we have this new test one right here. So we're going to click on our new list because we need to add subscribers. We can't send out an email campaign unless we have anyone to send it to. So we're going to click our list here and it's going to say you have no contacts. So there are a few ways that we can get contacts. We can import contacts because we have a few different options for how to import contacts. 
we can add a sign up form to our website so we can build forms and we can embed them or add them as a pop-up right into our website which is a great way to get newsletter signups but for now we're just going to add an individual contact so we're going to click here to add contacts and we're going to do add a subscriber so right here we're going to put in e the person's email address so I'll do one of my business email addresses hello at creativeoriginsara.com and I'll do my first name and of course you can add their last name you can add their address you can add their phone number and you can use tags again tags are something we'll explore a little bit further down the road in some other videos but for this basic video for beginners right here we're not going to worry about any of that stuff so this is the last button you actually have to worry about before you can subscribe them you have to click this button right here that says this person gave me permission to email it to email them and guys, this is important. Don't overlook this. You cannot just get someone's information or buy someone's information or find some random person's information and start sending them email campaigns. Most people won't care. They'll just block you or they'll unsubscribe. But some people might report you and you can get in trouble. You have to make sure that people know when you take their information what you're using it for. Super easy ways to do this are having a form on your website for people to sign up for your newsletter. And by doing that, they're giving you permission to use your, their email address or if you're selling ebooks, or if you have gated assets to get people's contact information, just have a little disclaimer or have it right there in the text that you're gonna be using their content and their email to address to send out marketing material and for marketing purposes, and just let them know you're not giving it to anyone else, you're just using it for your own in-house marketing purposes. So then we're gonna click subscribe, and bam, we've got our list, our first subscriber on our list. So when we go back to lists, you can see one subscriber. So now we need to create a campaign. So we're gonna go right here to this tab that says campaigns. And here we have some campaigns we've sent out recently and we're gonna do create campaign. So we've got a few options. We've got sign up form, postcard, landing page, or ad, or email. These other options right here we will go over in a, a more advanced guide down the road that I'll be releasing. Right now we're just gonna focus on email. These are our four different types we can do. We're not going to worry about A-B test or plain text right now. Again, those will be in the more advanced tutorial. Automated, I'll touch on real quick. Automated emails are awesome. If you've got someone who recently subscribed to your website, you can have an automated email sent welcoming them. So you have on your website a pop-up that says, hey, subscribe for free content. They subscribe. Right away, they get an email saying, welcome, thanks for subscribing. Here's what you can expect. And then you can actually go into this automation and you can add as many future emails as you want and spread them out from one day to one month apart so that person's getting a new email with fresh content every day, every week, every month, whatever you decide to do. And you can just take your day one day and just go in, create that workflow, create all that content, and then people are getting emails for six months that you don't even have to worry about. It's a really awesome tool and I will be covering that in a separate video that will be all about setting up automated workflows in MailChimp. But for now, we're going to stick to regular emails. This is just a regular one-time email. So if you're having a flash sale, say, hey, for the next 24 hours, our products are 50% off. You make that email campaign and you send it out and people just get it once. So we're going to name our campaign. We'll just do test. And then we're just going to click begin. So the first thing we have to do is figure out who we're sending this to. So we're going to click add recipients and choose list. And we're going to pick our new list that we just created. And you can see right here, we have the ability to personalize the to field. And according to MailChimp, this increases your click-through rate by up to 14%. So we click personalize to field, and then we have these different merge tags. And we have F name, L name, F name, plus L name, or custom. If we do F name, it's just gonna address them by their first name. So if someone's name is Michael, and you say hello, and then you put in this merge tag, when they open the email, it'll say, hello, Michael. And if someone else's name is Mark, it'll say, hello, Mark. It's a useful tool if you're going to address people. Typically, I don't use them because I'm sending out newsletters or content updates related to fitness or my businesses or marketing. And I typically am not addressing people by name. But if you are, it's a great tool to use. So now we have our from. Again, we already established this in our list that it's going to be from hello at caracluder.com. And the from name will be Caracluder Fit. But if you do decide you want to change it for a particular campaign, you can edit it right here simply by clicking edit from. And here's our subject. So we need to add a subject. We're going to click add subject. For this, we'll just do test. But you can do whatever subject you want. You can put emojis in here. 
Uh, some people like to use a lot of emojis. I have found that emojis do increase your open rate. Just try to have an emoji that actually goes with your campaign. So if it's something about working out, you can have the arm flexing, something about eating healthy, you can have fruit. So you get the idea. Preview text, you can write a specific preview text that's going to entice people. Because as you probably know, when you get an email underneath, you'll see the first few lines and you can actually customize that preview text right here. So we're going to click save. And now we're going to actually get to building the email. So right here where it says content, we're going to click design email. And it's going to ask us to select a template. So you can code your own, but chances are if you're a beginner, you're not into coding. You can have saved templates or previous campaigns or themes. But we're just going to go with one of these basic layouts. And I'm just going to go with this one column basic layout right here. So the first thing I like to do, guys, is actually delete everything that's already on here. I like to start fresh with an empty slate and just a blank canvas. So I'm just going to go in each of these boxes, just click this trash can, and it's going to ask me if I'm sure I want to delete it. I'm going to click delete. You don't have to do that, but that's just my personal preference. So right now, I'm actually going to recreate an email campaign that I sent out about a week ago called Understanding Nutrition. Again, this is for my wife's fitness company, and this is all about how to get a better understanding of the basics of nutrition so you can get your body in shape and reach your goals better and eat healthier. So the first thing we're going to want to do is add an image here at the top. So um, all I have to do here is get the image button right here and just click and drag it to this box. And here we see it's going to ask me to upload an image. So I click Browse. And I've got a few options. So these are, the, these are the images I've already uploaded in the past. Or if I want to upload a new image, I just click Upload and choose from my computer. But I'm going to use this image right here. And guys, I create all of these images in Canva.com. I do have a video on my channel about the basics of Canva. And I've got a lot more videos coming of how to use Canva more in depth but it's an easy way to create a template or create images for your email campaigns that look really good and you can customize. So we're just gonna hit save and close. So as you can see, it says Understanding Nutrition, has her logo, and right here, it gives a little uh, breakdown of what this video that we're gonna show is going to be about, and then it says that there's gonna be a video below. So I'm gonna add a video link from her YouTube channel, and I'm just gonna grab the video button right here, and just slide that in right there. So now we want to add in our video. So we just double click on the video and we can put in a video URL. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the URL right in here and you can see this is a YouTube video. It puts the YouTube thumbnail right here and when people click the play button it'll bring them right to the video. So here we have a caption. I'm not gonna put a caption so I'm just gonna go to this little box right here and just delete all of that and then we're gonna click save and close. So now that we've got our header here and we've got our content that's free and useful to people, we want to plug some of our products. We want to plug Kara's online coaching that she does, and then we want to plug her new Build and Grow Lower Body Exercise Guide that she has on her website. So what we're going to do is add some new images. So instead of adding one image it's going to be really big, I want to add an image group. So I'm going to go right here to Image Group, and I'm just going to drop the block right there. And for the first image, I'm going to take this image, which is for her online coaching, and I'm just going to click Insert. For the second image, I'm going to take this image right here, which is for her uh, exercise guide, and insert it right there. And now we're just going to click Save and Close. So these images look great. They're exactly how I wanted them to be. But we need some text. We need some description. So I'm going to add a text right here. So we're just going to click Text and drag it right above. And then I've got my text saved, so I'm just going to copy my text and then paste it right in here and click Save. Now, of course, you can bold, italicize, underline, you can hyperlink, you can add images, you can make the font different, you can make the size bigger, you can add anchors. There's a lot you can do, but I'm just going to save this right here. And now you can see it says, looking for help reaching your fitness goals, need accountability or personalized workout plans, check out my online coaching options below. So this is great, but we need a way for people to actually check out the online coaching. So we're going to go right here to Button, and we're going to click and drag the button right over in between the text and the picture, and it's going to open up the menu here where we can change what the button says. So instead of saying Buy Now, we're going to say Check Out Online Coaching. And then we're going to go and get our URL to our website and paste it right in here. 
Now, this looks great, but I don't like that the button's blue because everything on here is pink, and those are her business and her business brand colors. So we want to make this pink. So we're going to go to Style, and you can see we can change the rounded corners, make it look like that if we want, or we can make it square. We can change the width. We can change the border. There's a lot we can do, but right now we're just going to worry about the color. So I'm going to go and get my color code. So there are a few ways we can do this. If you know your exact color code, you can paste in your code, or you can click this and just go around here and pick different colors. What I'm going to do is actually get my custom color code, and I'm just going to put it right in here. All right, and there we go. So now you can see that it's the same color as all this other pink, and I'm going to click Save and Close. Awesome. So now what we want to do is finally just plug the workout guide. So we're going to do some text below here. And then we're going to get our text here. Just copy paste that right in and click save. So now again, we need another button. So we're going to drag the button over here. And we're going to get our link. And we're just going to put our link in there. And then we're going to say, check out my build and grow guide. And same thing, we're going to just go here and change our color code. So we're going to go back, get our code once again, and just paste it in there. And there we go. So we've got all the content we need, super easy, super straightforward. Now we're going to do one last thing, and we're just going to link her social media. So we're going to click this social follow button right here. And this is where you can add your Facebook, you can do Twitter, you can do website. Uh, if you want to add another service, you can add an email, you can add Instagram, Reddit, SoundCloud, Snapchat, Tumblr, Google+, YouTube. There's pretty much everything you do. So for her, we would do YouTube, we'd do her website, and we would change Twitter to Instagram. And I'm not going to put in all the links right now, but if you do want to put in a link, so if I wanted to put in her Instagram right here, I would just do Instagram.com slash Cara Cloutier Fit. And then I would do her website URL, her Facebook, her YouTube URL, so on and so forth. Super easy, super quick. And in just a couple of minutes, we've built this whole email campaign. And now that we're all done, we just have to go here and do save and close. And we've got our campaign right here, guys. And the first thing you probably want to do just to make sure it looks good is send a test email. So you can put in any email address and just click send test. And it's going to ask you to wait a little bit. It's going to go through and process everything, and then it will send the test email. And right there it says, Bon Voyage, test email is been sent. So you can go to your email address. You can see how it looks. If you are, in fact, ready to send the email to all your recipients, we'd go up here to the top, and you can either schedule it. So if you want to schedule it for tomorrow at 12 p.m., you can click Schedule. And it's pretty straightforward. You click your day, you click your time, and that's pretty much all you have to do. Then you just click Schedule Campaign, and it will send at that time. You can see you have some different paid features here, and we're not paying for MailChimp, so the most we can do is just, with the free version, just schedule the time, the day and time, but that's really all you need to do. So then we'd click Schedule Campaign, but we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to send it out, so we're just going to click the Send button. And it will say, prepare for launch. You're about to send a campaign to list test with one subscriber. We would just click send now. And high fives. Your campaign is in the send queue and will go out shortly. It will usually take anywhere between a couple minutes to a few hours to send the campaign. But once it sends, it will go to everyone. The smaller your list, the quicker it will send. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope this video was helpful for you. I will definitely have a lot more MailChimp videos coming in the future. Those are going to go a lot more in-depth about analytics and automations and workflows. But for now, I hope this gets you the information you need to send out some basic campaigns and get your email marketing rolling. Do consider subscribing to the channel if you're interested in content like this. I've got a lot more helpful content coming for you guys. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer those for you. I'll have a link to MailChimp in the description, and I wish you guys the best of luck in everything you do. Thanks again for watching, and take care.